G'day guys, Harry here from Mitz Alloy. Behind me, we've got a big Silverado 2500. The customer, Mike and Sam from Great Aussie Odyssey, have just about set up for their big lap of Australia. Why don't we take a closer look at exactly how they've set up their vehicle. Before we get into the train canopy setup on the back of the car, let's do a little bit of housekeeping. This is a very tall car. I'm just over six foot tall, and I'm gonna smack my head on the side mirror here. He's running 37 inch tires with a 22 inch rim. Mike's told me he's gonna change these rims out for some that are on order. He's also gonna fit a new front winch compatible bar, and on top of the canopy, he's gonna fit a Bush Company rooftop tent, as well as a 270 degree awning. These vehicles are quite large to start with, but Mike and Sam have opted for a rough country five inch lift in this vehicle. Vehicle, so that gets the extra height over factory. So before we get into the accessories and options fitted to this tray and canopy combo, let's talk about sizes. So the tray size on this setup is eight foot. So that's a 2,500 long tray, 2050 wide by 900 high on the headboard. The canopy on top is seven foot, so it finishes just back from the rear of the tray to keep your rear wall accessories, in this case, the jerry cans and the spear wheel closer to the rear axle. The standard inclusions on every eight foot American tray uh, the headboard water tank at the front. That's a 30 litre poly headboard water tank that's BPA free for potable drinking water with a gravity fed tap outlet here on the passenger side. Underneath, you get your pair of front tapered under tray toolboxes. In the middle, you get, in this case, your extended flared mud guards to cater to the large rough set often seen on these American pickups. And at the rear, you also get the pair of rear tapered under tray toolboxes. Around the back, we've got the 1500 mil rear pull out under tray drawer. Also standard on every tray and canopy package is our textured black powder coat finish. This is super hard wearing and super durable, perfect for harsh Australian conditions. As part of the installation, of course, we take care of your fuel relocation and the ad blue as well. So all that is really easily accessible here on top of the toolbox. Being a 2022 Chevy Silverado, this of course has the full suite of rear relocations required. So underneath, We've completed the reverse camera relocation as well as the reverse sensors into the rear wings on the tray and of course the cross traffic blind spot monitors on the rear of the toolboxes. Now because this is a full size American pickup we've got the option to add in the 60 litre under tray water tank without compromising the length of the under tray drawer. So we can still have the full 1500 mil drawer but add in the 60 litre under tray water tank at the front. That tank comes with a pump on the front and you can access the water from the rear under pressure and still allows you to plumb it with a 30 litre poly headboard water tank so in total you can have 90 litres of water storage in this scenario. On the rear wall of the canopy Mike and Samantha have opted for two jerry can holders on the left hand side and a 37 inch spare tyre carrier on the right. Up on the roof they've gone for the canopy length seven foot roof rack. Now remembering Mike and Sam have fitted this up for long term full time travel on the road let's take a look at how they've chosen to lay out their canopy. So straight away, you can see there's a heap of space in this canopy. They've gone for our P4 Explorer layout, which is the 130 litre Bushman's upright and cage surround, the single drawer and table next to that, and around on the other side, they've gone for the full length driver side drop shelf, 1200 mil, and the dual side-by-side -side drawer system. They've also optioned up with our upright pantry in the middle and the travel buddy shelf above the single drawer and table. Of course, we've put a travel buddy in that and we'll be connecting it up to the Red Arc Ultimate 12 package at the front. The Red Arc Ultimate package that's been selected for this vehicle is great for those that want to spend a lot of time in remote touring locations. It's got 200 amp hours of heavy duty Red Arc lithium power. It's all run through the Red Vision unit here, which is we remote mount it on a little screen down here for super easy accessibility. We've buttoned up the whole package in a neat powder coated textured black aluminium surround that houses the 2000 watt inverter, the Red Arc TVMS and Manager 30 kit, as well as all of your USB and SIG socket outlets. On the roof, we're running uh, additional solar power input through a 180 watt panel. Another super popular option they've selected is central locking. This is super convenient, especially when you're getting in and out of your vehicle all the time. You don't have to worry about making sure you've locked the canopy up. 
A super common question we get is what do our setups actually weigh? This setup here, including all the internals, the entire fit out electrics and everything fitted to this car as you see it, it's approximately 730 kilos. Even though it's a larger American pickup, this is something you do still have to be super conscious of because they are starting to crack down on whether your vehicle's over GVM. Now these larger American pickups are becoming super popular. And if you wanna check this one out in person, you can find it more often than not down at Frankston GMSV in Melbourne. If you are, however, building your own setup like this one, and you wanna have a chat to one of our team, feel free to give us a call on 1300 00 MITS. That's 1300 006 487. And we're happy to have a chat and help you build your next dream adventure vehicle.